All right, this video is going to show how to grease the pin station, <clears throat> pin station housing itself. I'm going to go ahead and take it apart, and then I will get to the grease. So if you missed it, there is a video on how to take these apart, uh, but this is the station itself. So now I'm going to show how to grease this back up. So I have my cam here. I'm going to go ahead and put some uh, Nile gel on the shaft part of my cam. I want to make sure I don't put too much on there because if it gets too much grease, uh, too much lubricant, then it's going to be all gunked up and hard to move uh, later in the future. Uh, it'll take a while for it to get really thick, but right now we're just going to keep it uh, kind of thin. And then I'm going to put a little bit on my gear on the cam itself. And as I put some on there, I'm going to go ahead and grab my bevel shaft and I'm going to rotate it in there. So right now I'm going to go ahead and put some on the inside of the gears here and then I'm going to rotate it <clears throat> inside the bevel shaft itself that way i can grease the bevel shaft teeth and the cam teeth at the same time again i want to make sure it's not too gunky make sure i get every tooth i don't want to miss any teeth if i miss teeth then it gets all plastic on plastic it'll eventually rub down and break off and then we'll have some more problems uh, next i'm going to grease my um shaft here so the end of it is going to be plastic on plastic rubbing inside with the retaining pin. The newer ones are going to have a bushing on the end, so you don't have to put grease uh, lubricant on that. But for these, since it doesn't have the bushing, I'm going to go ahead and put some on the end of it. Um, the lubricant here will last quite a while, too, on that. Now I'm going to grab my lever. The inside, uh, this lever is on the inside of the ejector flap, so I want to make sure I put enough lubricant on that to... Uh, make sure it doesn't get stuck. So if it gets stuck, it's going to be hard for the pin to get loaded into the station. Or it might get stuck in the opposite direction and also keep loading pins into that station. So I want to make sure we keep that uh, nice and clear. So this path right here where the cam is going to go is what also needs to be lubricated. That way it doesn't burn out either. It is also going to be super smooth. And that is all that needs to be shown on this.